Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect Legendary Edition where my audacity looks normal again. I don't know what happened. I certainly hope I didn't check the last recording, the commentary yet, so here's hoping it all works. That's her. My hey, 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 hey. Let's see. You if I use oh frick. Nope. Damages enemy shields. Yes. You can't regen your shield, that's not fair. I need to do it. Bring it. Sound gets fun. Oh, what the heck? It is a little easier. Aiming with this Xbox controller. All right. Those were sounds made. Clear. How do you know? But we know. Never been a real fan of crowds. Me neither. I just I ran errands today, and it was it was not. Ooh. What? <gasps> I think these are my first upgrades. Ashley, do you want to do a saw rifle? The Avenger. It always takes me a while to remember which ones are actually good. There's like a couple that are just bad, like regularly bad. Ooh, no. Um, nope, you don't get a shotgun. I'm not gonna have you use a sniper rifle either. Um, let me go back to me. Back to me. Frick. I can't even wear. What? I thought I could wear medium armor. Is that do I have to unlock that? Frick. Ashley does get the medium armor. Fine. Oh dang, that looks good. Like, I mean it kinda looks like just foam. Like it looks like the inside of a mech. You know, but I kinda like it. It's kinda cool. Let's see what Caden want. Do we have any armor? Nope, no armor for Caden. Alas. Blech. We don't have any biotic upgrades or tech ones yet. Nope, you don't need one of those. You're fine. Uh, me. Nope. Mm -mm. Nope. Cool. Oh, I can do. Upgrade. Oh, how do I freaking. I'm gonna cheat. I can't remember how to access this <laughs> with a controller. Um, sure. Equip that, even though I'm not gonna be using you for much longer, but I should have given it to freaking Caden. Oh, freak. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I should have given it to Caden. It's fine. Oi! Whoop! That's right. Nope. Put, it, put everything away. Everybody calm down. Welcome. High definition Korra's den. Ashley has the best comment in here. A million light years from where humanity began, and we walk into a bar filled with men drooling over half-naked women shaking their asses on a stage. I can't decide if that's funny or sad. What? You don't think they're here because of the food? <laughs> I see why this place is so popular. It's got quite the, uh... View. Quite the, uh... Oh, hey, there's a sleep pod. <laughs> quite the, uh, view. Ash is like, I have no time for this. Anyway, that's another uh, pleasure pod. I don't know. I think, it, I think they are actually called pleasure pods. Uh, oh, yeah, you could get... Your own lap dance. Sorry, I'll get to you when I can. Uh huh. Oh, let's just get this done. Commander, <laughs> what do you want? What up? I'm here on Shayira's behalf. Your lies are hurting her. Good. The lies have been killing me for days. I've seen a lot of horrible things in my days, and there's only one woman in this damn galaxy. That's not her responsibility. So if you feel that way, then why spread lies about her? Because she rejected me. 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 Septima Soraka, general of the Turian fleet. Me. I'm a man. Me. 
women need to cater to me. Brr. Is she really worth it? There must be other women. It's not just any woman I want. It's, it's her. And her alone. It's not our responsibility Look, to baby you. I appreciate you. what you're trying to do, but don't uh, waste your time. I don't have enough for this. You need to start acting like a general if you want to beat this. I spent all my life acting like a general, and what did it get me? Huh? No. Those days are over. I'll just be what I am. A tired, lonely, worn-out soldier. Do you really want to be remembered this way? No, I'd rather not be remembered at all. But I see your point. So you think it's that easy? Just straighten up and act like a general? I don't think it could hurt. <laughs> huh. Maybe you're right, Commander. Shaira's worth the effort. Even if she won't have me back. This is no place for someone of your stature, General. All right. I'll go to her. After I've had a cold shower or two. Say, you're a bright man. Uh. Would you be interested in earning a few extra credits? <laughs> extra credit? Oh my gosh. Anyway, I didn't realize you could necessarily talk your way out of this situation <laughs> without the Paragon or Renegade. What do you want me to do? There's an Elcor diplomat out there who believes Shaira gave up his secrets. And why does he think that? <laughs> because I told him. Look, I just need you to convince him of the truth. What makes you think he'll believe me? You'll bring him proof. Take this data pad. It shows where I got my info. It will exonerate Shaira and convince the Elcor. Who am I taking it to? And where is he? His name is Zaltan. He's an Elcor diplomat. He's over in the embassies complaining about Shaira. Well, here's to soldiers acting like soldiers. I hide to that, bud. Thanks, Commander. You know, you might make a good general yourself. Oh, uh, ho, ho. It is kind of surprising Hard that Shepard... imagine a general like that getting so upset about a woman. That's because you don't understand women, Kate. That's because you don't understand women, Kate. No, it's because he's just... Because he's a... Because you don't understand men, Kate. <laughs> oh, there's Argon. Wait, no. There he is. Oh, hang on. Let's, uh... It's not a woman's fault if a man gets stupid about her. That man either made the choice to, to become stupid or made the choice to not... To, to not think about it, you know? To, like, not, like, say, whoa, maybe I should reevaluate, you know? Hey there, sweetheart. I'm gonna kill you. For some fun? I gotta say, that soldier get-up looks real good on that body I'm gonna kick you in the teeth! Why don't you sit your sweet little ass down beside old Ark and have a drink? Let's see where this goes. Do I look like the kind of woman that would take your crap? <laughs> I'd rather drink a cup of acid after chewing on a razor blade. You trying to hurt my feelings? You gotta do better than that. After 20 years with c -Sec, I've been called every name in the book, princess. Call me princess again and you'll be picking your teeth up off the floor. <laughs> now tell me what Garrus is. <laughs> Okay, okay, just relax. Garrus, you say? Hmm. You must be one of Anderson's crew. Poor bastard still trying to bring Sarah. He's not a moron, like, completely. I know where Garrus is, but you gotta tell me something first. Did the captain let you in on his big secret? Like, the man's intelligent enough, despite being an absolute pig. I just need to know where Garrus is. But it's all related, don't you see? The captain used to be a specter. No, he didn't. Didn't know that, did you? It was all very hush-hush. The first human ever given that honor. And then he blew it. Screwed up his mission so bad they kicked him out. Of course, he blames Saren. Says the Turians set him up. You are misinformed. I've read the book. Also, Anderson doesn't lie to me later on. He was being, or even earlier, I think he was in contention for the Spectres, but he was not actually a Spectre. And at least in the book, um, I can't remember the name of the book, but it's one of the Mass Effect books, the first three. 
the fourth one doesn't count. Sucks. It was written by an outsider. <laughs> it was written by somebody who's like never done anything with Mass Effect and also has never spoken to a real person in their lives. It's an actual garbage book. I only own it so I can show it to people and say this is what a garbage book looks like. It wasn't written by Drew Carpshin unlike the rest of them. Anyway, uh, yeah. He was just in. He was because for one thing, at first, Human Spectre would be like a big shindig. They like you know, like they do for me for. Shepard, they like put it on like intergalactic television, you know, like it's like recorded and a lot of people watch and like so many people know by the end of the day, you know. So, anyway, you said they covered all this up. How'd you hear about it? I spent 20 years working cases here on the Citadel. People on this station love to talk, secrets are like herpes if you got them. Might as well spread them around. What a garbage individual! Like, really? Like, he's talking about sexually transmitted diseases, and he's like, yeah, you might as well. Like, this is the kind of person that just is, like, the anti-vaxxer type, you know what I mean? Like, the anti-COVID denier, I don't know. Just, not even, like, the anti, just, like, the person who's like, well, I got COVID, so I might as well spread it around. Like, you know what I mean? Like, they're just garbage individuals that are a waste of the flesh sack they inhabit. One more chance. Tell me where Garrus is now. Yeah. Okay, settle down. I'm done. I want to speak to Dr. Michelle over in the med clinic on the other side of the wards. Uh, I'm done talking to you. I'm out of here. Yeah, good. Go. Let me drink a piece. I just love pulling a gun on him. <laughs> I know it's renegade. Well, I don't even think you get renegade points for it. Captain Anderson, tell us he used to be a special. He's not. He wasn't. Maybe it's not true. Hawkins an ass, but he's just messing with our hands. You're probably right. Still, I'd like to hear what the captain has to say about all this. I don't know if I can get... Uh, oh, that's right. Um, what's his name? Rex is in the season. I keep, like, jumping ahead a scene. Where, like, I went to Dr. Michelle's office, but then it's like, wait. And I was like, why didn't I see Rex in there? And it's because um, I'm jumping ahead a scene again. Uh, let's just go. We'll just go to Dr. Michelle's. Med clinic. And with Rex, yeah, I still have to go to the CSEC Academy to trigger that. Alright, here we are, friendos. We've done the thing we need to do when we have these two, and now I can get rid of Ashley. I didn't tell anyone, I swear! That was smart, Doc. Now if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut or Who are you?! Let her go. A sharpshooter, but also an unnecessary risk taker. Take him out. E. Okay, I didn't need to crouch so early. Um. What? Garbage. Well, I didn't even that didn't go where I wanted to go. Sucks. Oh my gosh, again? I think I can kill him again. I suck so much at this game. Where are you? Look at Garrus just standing there not doing anything. All targets down. Thanks, but what? why are you? Oh, frick! That was I could. I thought they were usually like all lit up all the way around. Now it's not like that. I did that. I remember doing that once. Actually, blowing that up. Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. What were you thinking? You could have hit the hostage. There wasn't time to think. I just reacted. I didn't mean to. Dr. Michelle, are you hurt? No, I'm okay. Thanks to you, all of you. I know those men threaten. She's you, like my ear. If you tell us who they work for. We can protect you. They work for Feast. 
They wanted to shut me up, keep me from telling Garrus about the Quarian. What Quarian? A few days ago, a Quarian came by my office. She'd been shot, but she wouldn't tell me who did it. I could tell she was scared, probably on the run. She asked me about the Shadow Broker. She wanted to trade information in exchange for a safe place to hide. Where is she now? I put her in contact with Fist. He's an agent for the Shadow Broker. Not anymore. Now he works for Saren. And the Shadow Broker isn't too happy about it. Fist betrayed the Shadow Broker? That's stupid, even for him. Saren must have made him quite the offer. That Quarian must have something Saren wants. Something worth crossing the Shadow Broker to get. She must have something that proves he's a traitor. Did the Quarian mention anything about Saren or the Geth? She did. The information she was going to trade. She said it had something to do with the Geth. Yeah, you could have led with that. To link Saren to the Geth. Wow. There is no way the Council can ignore this. Garrus looks great. I mean, I get. I should have maybe said this back when Garrus was first introduced, but I will not be romancing Garrus. I'm like part of the 10% of the population that does not lose its mind over Garrus. Garrus is my best pal, and I have cried over him. Like, or I've cried about him almost. I don't know. In Mass Effect 3, things get real intense and emotional sometimes. But, um, I don't. Like, and I, I think my renegade romanced him. Uh, which I never finished that run on Mass Effect 2 because all my DLCs got like messed up, and I didn't want to. I didn't want to play Mass Effect 3 without having played the DLC without having played the DLCs of Mass Effect 2. So I stopped playing it. Someday maybe I'll have to do it on the Legendary Edition. Go back and finish my Renegade playthrough, even though it's hard and it sucks and I hate being angry all the time. It's sad. It makes me sad. Um. Anyway, yes. I love Garrus Vicarian. There is no Shepard without Vicarian, but I'm definitely find Thane more attractive. <laughs> Time we paid Fist a visit. This is your show, Shepard, but I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. You're a Turian. Why do you want to bring him You're down? You're a Turian. I couldn't find the proof I needed in my investigation, but I knew what was really going on. Saren is a traitor to the Council and a disgrace to my people. It's not even, it's not a species thing, really. Like, Harkin was obviously a dirtbag, and I'd throw him to the wolves in any situation. He's human, you know? Like... Welcome aboard, Garrus. You know, we aren't the only ones going out fist. The Shadow Broker hired a Krogan bounty hunter named Rex to take him out. Yeah, we heard about him. We did. A Krogan might come in handy. Last I heard, he was at the CSEC Academy. What's he doing there? Fist accused him of making threats. We brought Rex in for a little talk. If you hurry, you can catch him at the academy before he leaves. Move out. Move out! We're bringing in, uh... Yeah. Oh, add to squad. Bye, Ashley. It was nice knowing you. I think, yeah, I don't even have, my usual squad isn't here, usually it's Tally and Rex. Where do we want to go now? We're going to CSEC Academy, which conveniently is right down the stairs. Don't kid yourself. Oh, yeah, yeah. Even bigger than it looks. How would you know? I got a tour. One of 500 to see the ascension from the inside out. Really? It took almost six hours, and we only saw one-tenth of the ship. I even got to meet the commander. The Matriarch Ladania? You met her? Well, she addressed everyone on the tour, but I got pretty close to her. I got close to her. Oh, just look at that ship. You'd have to be stupid to mess with that. Very true. Look at the ray, so, ray tracing. She is the biggest ship on the Citadel. It's interesting. She's a, but she's an Asari ship, right? And then the uh, the Turians are the one that make up the bulk of the Citadel force. But the Asari are like, hey, we're peaceful diplomats, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, but <laughs> walk softly and carry a big stick, if you know what I'm saying. Down we go.
Officer Lang. Hey, I know you. You're Shepard, right? Uh, I was on Nindwar during the Blitz. Uh, I you the Vids when you got your medal. You saved the whole colony. Uh, Looks like you have a fan. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just never thought I'd meet someone like you in person. Uh, my name's Lang, Officer Eddie Lang, Citadel Security. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. What are you doing down here in the wards? Anything I can help you with? How seasick. I just want to rub elbows with the little people. Why'd you join Citadel Security? I don't know. Seemed like the right thing to do, you know? Maybe it's in my blood. My grandfather was a cop back on Earth. It's kind of what CSEC is. Police for the Citadel. I'm still pretty new at it, but I like it so far. Way more interesting than staying back on Earth. You get to meet all kinds of cool aliens. Like those Hanar. Wild. Plus, CSEC gets a lot of respect here. We uphold the law. People, even aliens, appreciate that. Even aliens! Like, you were doing so well until that. Like, they're the ones that created this system. <laughs> you know? The Asari found this place first, and then the Salarians, I'm pretty sure. And, like, yeah. And they're the ones that created Citadel Security. And we've only gotten in here in the last, like, ten years. He's like, wow, yeah. Ah! How do you like working here on the Citadel? This place is amazing. I've been here almost a year, and I still haven't seen a tenth of it. The Presidium's just so beautiful. Good place to go and relax. But I really like it here down in the wards. There's always something going on somewhere. Like that new club they just opened a few months ago, Flux. Wicked scene in there, Commander. Wicked scene. You should check it out when you have some time. Wicked scene. Oh my gosh, I feel dated, you know? What do you know about Spectres? Just the stuff they show in the vids. They always make them out to be super agents on secret missions to save the galaxy. I know it's not really like that, though. Some of the other CSEC guys don't like them too much. Figure they shouldn't be able to operate outside the law. But if they were so bad, the council wouldn't use them, right? <laughs> Do you know a CSEC officer named Harkin? I shouldn't really say too much. He's been on the force a lot longer than me. But I've heard things, you know? Drinking on the job, taking bribes, that kind of thing. Rumors mostly, but they suspended him, so some of it must be true. A naive young human in the grand, wider galactic space. I have to go. Bye. Right. You're probably real busy. Well, see you around, Commander. Yeah, no, no. Have fun uh, being in charge of the the vehicle section. Do your best. Do your best, young man, and someday even you can be Commander Shepard. Well, Garrus, any regrets about leaving Citadel City? He hasn't left it yet. Fighting a rogue specter with countless lives at stake and no regulations to get in the way? I'd say that beat c -Sec. Well, we don't lack for excitement, that's for sure. I mean, there are regular, there's rule, there's morals and ethics, codes of ethics and stuff. Like, calm down, Garrus. Cool your jets, bud. Am I going totally the wrong way? I think I'm going the right way. Look at these beefy Solarians. Uh, where is... Oh, there he is. Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Stay away from him. I don't take orders from you. This is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. I will kill him. <laughs> You want me to arrest you? I want you to try. Go on. Get out of here. It's not like you could stop him. Do I know you, human? I, I am staring at you so I can see why you'd say that. But Rex looks... I think Rex has always looked good, but he looks so good in high definition. My name's Shepard. I'm going after Fist. Thought you might want to come along. <sighs> Shepard. Commander Shepard. I've heard a lot about you. We're both warriors, Shepard. Out of respect, I'll give you a fair warning. I'm going to kill Fist. Fist knows you're coming. We'll have a better chance if we all work together. Come My on, Rex. We'll have a say. Seek Friends. the enemy of your enemy, and you will find a friend. Be get you got you got you got to come play nice with people. Glad to have you on the team, Rex. Let's go. I hate to keep Fist waiting. Krogan faces are so cool. Like, they just look real neat. Bye, Caden. Go back to the ship. 
Let's see if I can grab any licenses from here. Whoa, I ran away. Got turned around. Oh, wait. Every time I visit the Citadel, CSEC brings me here for a friendly chat. He probably doesn't even have to do anything. He just gotta show up. I used to have an office here. I spent half my time doing paperwork. That's something that I Garrus would not tolerate. He's a man of action. Paperwork life just ain't all it's cracked up to be. Some people enjoy it, and I enjoy it in small amounts, but not not too much. I have to be out doing stuff. One sec, looking you up. Commander Shepard here with the Alliance military. First time on the Citadel. That about right? It's funny if you come here right as like right after me like for your first time coming back after a specter it's just like he says the same thing i think but it's still really funny how did you know all that i'm the csec requisitions officer i need to make sure our buyers are authorized so will you be purchasing anything today commander shepherd show me what you've got excellent i hope you find what you're looking for like he says that first line right but then he also says wait a second this can't be right and you're like haha but it is I, I'm being told to give you our... The Hydra! It says N7, but I don't think there's actually any... There might be some new armors. I don't know if someone told me... Yeah, oh yeah. Usually it's the color on the box is what the color is of the, of the armor itself. But they just have N7 all over all of these. <sighs> anyway. Sufficient, sufficient. Now we have half my squad. I do tend to bring out... I, I change it up a bit. I do like to bring out, like, a, like sometimes I like to bring out, like, different people for different things. But I think Mass Effect 1 still has the achievements where you complete 75% of the game with, like, certain squad mates, you know? And, uh, I desperately try to get that every time. <laughs> um, what shall we do? I know there's... I could go pop up and see the Normandy real quick, but... Uh, get close to the sniper rifle. I do sometimes give Garrus the sniper rifle. Sure. Get vamping. Yeah, okay. Rex, this this buddy, this, this is the man that I'll be bringing out with me a lot, so I need to make sure to get his stuff for sure where I want it. Rex is the one who survives everything. Not that it's like Dragon Age, right? We're like... If Blackwall's still alive, you can still keep playing. As soon as you're dead, it's donezo. But Rex does a ton of damage, and he takes so much damage. He's a tank. All right, let's equip him out. Let's give you that. Sure. We do have... Oh, no. Never mind. The Phoenix armor. Heaven forbid. Well. Sure. I think this is actually a bit of an... Never mind. I can't do it. I'm sorry. I can't. I can't do it. I hate that armor. I like pink. Don't get me wrong. But the pink and white just is... I don't like it. <laughs> it's not a good looking armor to me. I don't even have Grogan armor. Assault rifle. 
sure. Which one do I have? Mm, no, I'm good. Um, let's. I don't think we have any for that. Wait, no. The armor, the. Nope. Oh, right, our secondary mods, that's right. Improved sighting. I put that on the shotgun. Recoil dampener. Let's give Garrus one on his assault rifle. Nice. Increases accuracy. Perfect. Anyway. Oh, Garrus! Wait, I was like, Garrus, it's not what? And then I was like, wait, I was gonna say, they look just like you, but they're literally wearing the CSEC armor, and then I realized his face was wrong. I'm like, sorry, Garrus. I was like, <laughs> he, I'm like, Garrus, look, he's wearing the same thing as you, but I forget. I forget that it's the CSEC armor. Um, but obviously Garrus looks way different, which is why I was like, wait a second. <laughs> also, why is he moving that way? Anyway. I'm gonna end it here. Thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it. I hope you're enjoying, and I hope to see you in the next one.